It's going on, ladies and gentlemen. We're going up to uh, Ashtabula County to check out some uh, wooden bridges up there. What do they, what do they call them things? The covered bridges. Covered bridges. Uh, come along. Let's go check it out. We started recording as soon as we hit Hearts Grove Township. We were right over by the BP gas station. We were just climbing on the bikes. We were heading north. The plan was to head north. We were heading toward West Liberty Covered Bridge, which is the smallest covered bridge in the world. Taking a motorcycle trip up 534 in Ohio to go to Geneva on the lake or even Thunder on the Strip. It's definitely one of them trips that you have to add to your checklist. A little further is way up 534 as we were crossing the Grand River. I looked over to the left and I seen another uh, covered bridge, one that wasn't on our vendetta today, but I figured we'd pull off and take a look anyway. Upon pulling up, we find out that this bridge that's covering the Grand River is the Harvard Field Covered Bridge. So what is this? This is the Harper Field Covered Bridge, Ashtabula County Metro Park. Ain't never been here before. We'll be riding across that here in a minute. I'm about to jump back on and we're gonna go visit the world's smallest covered bridge. Out of the 16 wooden bridges there are in Ashtabula County, this is the third longest. I think it's got a wooden floor too. I'll be fine with that. <laughs> I'll be fine with that. That's the weirdest, the weirdest thing uh, I've ever drove across. I believe this was up in Buffalo. They had a graded bridge. Yes, yeah, that's metal grades. And they were really wide, so they sucked the tire up. And when we drove through that, like you just looked below and it was just running water. Yeah, that was some shit. The Harpers Field covered bridge is right off of 534, just outside of Geneva.
definitely a different feeling driving across a wooden covered bridge, especially since all the boards on the inside that you're driving across were warped. And soon enough, our time at the Harpers Field covered bridge was all done, and we were on our bikes and hitting the road again, heading up to Geneva so we could hit the strips. But first, we were going to stop at the smallest covered bridge in the world. And in no time, we were crossing our way into Geneva and making our way straight to our destination. Covered bridge. Like, I was expecting this to be cheesy, but that's something else right there. Like, we better stop and take a look at that. I guess we should walk across it so we can tell everybody, hey, we walked across the world's smallest covered bridge. <laughs> this has got a little crick. Well, it's about to get better because we're coming into Geneva, so. <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. Now, that was the quickest 30-second uh, roadside visitation stop in my life. Uh, world's smallest cover bridge. It's got a little crawdad crick back there. <laughs> had enough of this. I don't know if this is worth the stop, guys. The world's smallest cover bridge. Really not a sight to see. <laughs> We're gonna go to the world's largest cover bridge. Let's see how that is. Once again, we started heading north. We were heading towards Geneva on the lake, jumping back on the bike so we'd go ride the strip. This is the city of Geneva, one of them cities that we passed through a hundred times going up to Geneva on the lake. One of these days we're going to have to go back and actually visit it. It does look like a pretty cool town. Soon enough, there we were, Geneva on the lake. And of course, it wouldn't be Ohio unless we hit some construction right as we were going in. Thank you.
decided it was about time to make a quick pit stop so we could have a beverage and a bite to eat. We decided that the place to be was Sportster's Bar and Grill, so we took a quick stop here. If you have never stopped at Sportster's Bar and Grill in Geneva on the Lake, it's definitely a pit stop that you must make when you come up here. After our pit stop at Sportster's, we jumped back on the bikes and we started heading down to our final destination, Smolen Gulf Bridge, the largest covered bridge in the USA. Just like that, we were out of Geneva on the lake, and we were on the back roads heading to Ashby Beach. It doesn't matter who you are, the back roads out here in Ashby Beulah County are definitely something to see. We are rolling into the city of Ashton. Then it was finally time. And there it was, the longest covered bridge in the USA. Smolen Gulf Bridge on Ashtabula Road 25. At 613 feet long, the Smolen Gulf Bridge is the longest covered bridge in the USA. Well, I'll tell you what, that, uh, that one's actually kind of impressive for the number of the So I guess if you're uh, going to see some covered bridges, you're probably better off uh, going to see the world's longest covered bridge here in Ashtabula County, rather than uh, seeing the world's smallest bridge in Ashtabula County, because that was just quite a bit of a waste of time, if you ask me. But this thing's pretty cool. Look at that. And then if you feel like getting your butt off the bike and walking, like we're doing, they got a smaller little bridge right down there. This is definitely worth visiting.
They have a smaller bridge down below if you'd like to get on your two feet and start walking for pedestrian use only. But if you want to really enjoy some views, I'd recommend getting off the bike and taking the trip over to Let's all just agree on one thing. The sight of this bridge and all of its surroundings is pretty impressive. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it for this trip. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. If you liked this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up. I also have some other channels. I'm going to post that in the corner. You guys, uh, you can click the Roman Oak Outdoors or you can hit the Roman Oak channel. Both of them have great content. I hope you guys stick around and subscribe to the channel because we have a whole lot more trips coming up this year. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you have a good night.